Well, welcome, welcome. Shalom, peace be unto you, your families. I just want to tell, tell you it's time to give praise and honor to Jesus, the finished work of the cross. Oh, in the midst of all the storms, we can find peace in Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hi, Paula. Well, <laughs> I tell you, it is kind of hard not to have a heart move for the people, especially the Christians who are, who are martyred. Um, oh, reading, is, uh, I just read an article, and I just have to tell you, whether you see it with your eyes or just read it, it's, it's, it's very uh, devastating, and it's heart, heart-wrenching. But, you know, no matter what, they're with the Lord. So, they found an underground church there in Kabul, Kabul and um, they, they have, um, well, you could hear the, the, the phone call. They had a phone call there, and they, uh, they were talking about that they were, they were not going to, to uh, you know, give up their belief in Jesus. And the, the little boy even said that to his mom. We're not going to give up Jesus. And, um, and in, and at that point they were singing praises unto the Lord and you can hear the gunfires. So they went up with Jesus in praise. <laughs> so I just want you to know that no matter what happens, this is the way we should also be. Okay. So let's just continue to, to pray for the people around the world, the Christians, all those over there that are stuck in Afghanistan for all these horrible things that are going on. And um, just keep your hearts and your, your minds with Jesus and be prayerful. Have a praying heart for these people, okay? Hi, Kerwin. Hi, Paula. Where is Barbara? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so thankful it's Friday. This way I can give my mind just a teeny bit of rest. Um, we're here to, to share the, the wonderful salvation of Jesus and come together to do the communion, honoring the Lord Jesus' body, the blood shed, and his, his body, which was beaten. He took our place so we can have the comforter, the Holy Spirit. Praise God, because this is what they had. This is what we need. He keeps us in, uh, in such a way. I truly believe that they didn't feel anything. It's kind of like when Paul was doing his thing. This is what I believe. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I'm going to say a prayer. We're going to get started. If it's your first time joining, my name is Julie. Welcome. I pray this blesses you and you receive from the Lord tonight. Get your elements ready. Cracker, juice, uh, bread if you don't have a cracker water, whatever you have, have it ready. We are, we're going to say a prayer and get, get busy. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, that you are continuously um, showing yourself that you are moving. And Father, maybe we don't see everything, but we know that your plan is the ultimate plan. And you know the beginning from the end. And Lord, I just pray you strengthen our hearts and our minds to keep it in you in all things that our strength can only come from you. We cannot do it ourselves, but all things are possible with you and through you. Father God, I praise you and thank you that we can come together honoring Jesus, the finished work of the cross, the wonderful gift that you've given. And Lord, I pray you bless each and every person and be with each person and family out there who's lost a loved one, Lord. Comfort their hearts, ease their minds and their souls and their spirit, Lord. I praise you and thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, so we are going to start our study. Let's see what the Lord is saying tonight. Hey, eh? oh, my glasses are kind of filthy. It's got to be like, <laughs> oh, like, they look like a haze. They are dirty, dirty. It's dirty, birdie. Okay. <laughs> so let's see what the Lord is going to speak to us tonight about. You know, he always has something good to lift us up in, in these times or something great to learn. Okay. It says, the go of reunification. It says, Luke 9, 57. Someone said to him, Lord, I will follow you wherever you go. Our Lord's attitude toward this man was one of severe discouragement. 
for he knew what was in man. John 2.25. We would have said, I can't imagine why he lost the opportunity of winning that man. Imagine being so cold to him and turning him away so discouraged. Never apologize for your Lord. The words of the Lord hurt and offend until there is nothing left to be hurt or offended. Jesus Christ had no tenderness whatsoever toward anything that was ultimately going to ruin a person in his service to God. Our Lord's answers were not based on some whim or impulsive thought, but on the knowledge of what was in man. If the Spirit of God brings to your mind a word of the Lord that hurts you, you can be sure that there is something in you that he wants to hurt to the point of its death. Luke 9.58 These words destroy the argument of serving Jesus Christ because it is a pleasant thing to do and the strictness of the rejection that he demands of me allows for nothing to remain in my life but the Lord. My... um, Myself and my sense of desperate hope. <laughs> That's right. He, I'll say that again. He demands, okay. <laughs> and the strictness of the rejection that he demands of me allows for nothing to remain in my life but the Lord, myself, and a sense of desperate hope. There we go. He says that I must let everyone else come or go and that I must be guided solely by my relationship to him. And he says, the son of man has nowhere to lay his head. Luke 9, 59. This man did not want to disappoint Jesus, nor did he want to show a lack of respect for his father. We put our sense of loyalty to our relatives ahead of our loyalty to Jesus Christ, forcing him to take last place. When your loyalties conflict, always obey Jesus Christ, whatever the cost. Did you hear that, people? (laughs) When your loyalties conflict, always obey Jesus Christ, whatever the cost, meaning family, friends, whoever, it doesn't matter. Luke 9, 61, there. The person who says, Lord, I will follow you, but is the person who is intensely ready to go, but never goes. This man had reservations about going. The exact call of Jesus has no room for goodbyes. Goodbyes, as we often use them are pagan, not Christian, because they divert us from the call. Once the call of God comes to you, start going and never stop. Oh, thank you, Lord. That's right. He's just given me that. (laughs) I love the Holy Spirit. You know, I, I said that to you, Paula, when I had was wondering about the, all the internet stuff. And I was speaking to the Lord, even though now we know I don't believe it was for me. Yes. Um, I pondered upon that and spoke to the Lord. And I told him, I said, well, Lord, I can't see why you wanted me to stop doing any of my communion. No matter what, I'm going to keep doing it until I see you or you tell me to stop. But I can't see the Lord telling me to stop because this is his will, because this is what he's having me do. And I've been obedient and I'm going to continue it. No matter who tries to stop me, I will continue for as long as I can. Amen. Amen. If I can't do the communion live like this for some day, I'll find a way to join with people and do it live together in communion with others in front of me. God makes a way. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. (laughs) Just wanted to say that. That was a good little read. All right. Let's see how the Lord's going to love on us tonight. I need to be loved on. I don't know about you. All right. So it says, my beloved, let me build a true friendship. I want you to look for a true friend, not just any friend. Find someone who brings out the best in you, a girlfriend who is a gift from me. My child, it takes time to build a strong foundation with a true friend. So choose your tools wisely. The first tool you'll need is transparency. The ability to see within each other's heart your strengths and weaknesses. The next tool is truth. I am the way, the truth, and the life for you. You will discover the rewards of real friendships when you speak truth and bring refreshing words of encouragement to one another. 
Finally, your friendship will need to be sealed in love, girded with trust, and in, encircled with prayer. Remember, my my beloved, you must come. You must become the kind of friend you desire to have. Love your king and a true friend. Amen. Proverbs eighteen twenty four. Some friends don't help, but a true friend is closer than your own family. Amen. Amen. I want to tell you, God is so good. And you know, it's funny because he'll use those ones that you think it, he always uses the ones that need help. He'll send them to you when you need help and you won't have to ask. <laughs> and it ain't family when you call out to your family for help. Well, they'll say, oh, well, what do you want me to do? But yet a true friend will reach out when God motivates their heart. It's wonderful to have the Lord. He does it for you. You don't have to worry about anything. God supplies all your needs in many different ways. If you're in need of something, trust and rely on him. He brings it to you without even asking anything else. I, I mean, I didn't have to ask anybody else. I, I made one step and then I said, you know what? I'm not going to even bother that. But you know, the Lord sent me a... a a beautiful uh, friend that I've had for a long time now. This particular friend, you know, we know I pray all the time for her and I'll, and I will continue. But what a blessing it is for the Lord to speak to someone that I haven't been speaking to for a while. And then all of a sudden, bam, there she is to help me in my time of need. I love that. God is good. Hi, Barbara. I see you in there. Hi. Welcome, my love. <laughs> if you're just joining, guys, hit the like and share button. Let's spread the gospel around the world. Let's let people know that there's a hope. There is salvation. There is everlasting peace and joy in the midst of this horrible storm. And, you know, that Jesus loves them. They can be healed. They can be shielded. All these things are in Jesus. So let's like and share. Amen. We're going to take our communion. So have your elements ready, okay? We're going to go ahead and do the scriptures, and then we're going to, to take our communion. All right? <laughs> now, in Exodus 23, 25, it says, And ye shall serve the Lord your God. Oh, thank you, Lord. And he shall bless thy bread and thy water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. Hallelujah. Isn't he good? He is. I got a great praise report today from my cancer doctor. So I'm grateful. I'm going to continue to pray that th that, that report even gets better. Amen. Because nothing is better the zero report of no cells there is better for me. I want to see no cells. Praise God. I claim that. I'm speaking to that mountain. I am completely healed. Amen. As Jesus is sitting at the right hand of God, there is nothing that the enemy can have in me. I belong to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. <laughs> I'm getting excited. Yes, yes, yes. That's what he does. In the presence of the Lord, there's the fullness of joy. Praise God. I love it. Proverbs 4.23 says, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. That's right. Everything you put inside your heart, you got to watch out because everything you put in there, it comes out of you. All of your issues are going to come out of you, whatever you're putting in. Let's put in good stuff. Amen. Let's decree and declare and speak to the mountains that try to attack our bodies. Let's claim health and restoration daily. Amen. That's what I say. That you can see clear that... that that your day is bright, that you're prosperous. You know, everything, you can proclaim it, you can declare it, and it can be yours. And here we have, here's another, Jehovah Tisboth, okay? The Lord of hosts, which is God of battles. He's our warrior. And I've been saying this. Thank you, Lord. That's another name for the Lord. 
Uh, hi, Kerwin. <laughs> oh, I saw someone else there. I didn't know you. That, welcome, welcome. I didn't uh, get to see the, the name. But um, what were you saying? You are lighting up. You're lighting up, Barbara. Woohoo! Yeah. Praise the Lord. Okay, so Deuteronomy 31 6 says, The Lord your God will personally go ahead of you. That's right. He's going to personally go ahead of us. We're not going to worry. Amen. John 16 13 says, When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. Oh, and I've been praying for that. Thank you, Lord. May he give us all that guidance into all the truth. Amen. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Psalms 37, 34. Put your hope in the Lord. Travel steadily along his path. That's, that's where my hope is. I don't have any hope in anything else. In this life and the life to come, I am forever, forever belong to the Lord Jesus. Amen. Matthew 28, 20. I am with you always to the end of the age. Oh my gosh, he's so wonderful. That's a beautiful scripture. <laughs> this is the comfort we need to know and hold on to. Amen. Heavenly Father, we're so grateful, Lord. Thank you that you're with us. Even to the end of the age, you'll never leave us. No, no one can snatch us out of your hand. Praise God. No, nothing created here can ever snatch us away from you. We're so thankful for you, Lord, for all the scriptures, your love and the truth. Father God, engrave these scriptures on our hearts that we would be a light to your glory to, to move the people here into the life of Jesus, into the light, the truth, the way. Sanctify them in your truth, Lord. Your word is truth. Father God, bless this communion as we come together honoring Jesus, discerning his body, and receiving everything Jesus died to give us. May we, may we not stagger in unbelief, but have full belief and come to the knowledge of knowing that it is truth that you are going to deliver and give us restoration, healing, hope, health, joy, peace. All the promises of God are in Christ Jesus. Yes and amen. We receive that tonight and the blood of Jesus, which is powerful, covers us, protects us and has set us free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we give you all praise and honor. It's all in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Don't you just love him? I love him. I'm thankful. I am thankful. <laughs> you know, every, you, ever, you ever get somebody look at you really funny because you tell them Jesus is coming soon and they say, well, yeah, Jesus is coming soon. And, well, no, he's he's coming soon. Like, he can come tonight, you know. I had this lady today when I said, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go home and get take out of here. She thought I was wanting to commit suicide, and she had a weird look on her face. <laughs> I says, oh, no. I mean, Jesus is going to take me home. He's going to rapture me up. And then she's like, oh, oh. She goes, oh, yeah, he's going to take. I said, yes, he is. I said, all those who have Christ received the Holy Spirit are going to be taken up, raptured. See, this is a way, a, a happy spirit is showing what the Lord is doing in you. It's an easy way to plant a seed into somebody else's life because maybe they don't know the Lord. Or maybe they think they know the Lord and they say it, but they don't, they profess it, but they don't possess it. And we as the light of the world who do possess it should speak out. Amen. Let's plant seeds. Oh, Lord, so he can harvest. Ooh, send the labors in, Lord. Amen. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to do our communion. Um, now, the bread represents Jesus' body and the water that we're taking or juice, whatever you have, that represents Jesus' blood. So we're discerning the body this way. Jesus subjected his body to be beaten, bruised, broken, battered. He was, he got, I don't know how many lashes, but his skin was ripped off of his body. And, and because Jesus did that, it's so that we can receive his health and healing in, in exchange for our diseases, our sicknesses. So this is what we're going to do tonight. We're going to do a divine exchange when we take that bread. 
remembering what Jesus has done for you because it's personal. And also for the for the drink, it's your it's his blood. Remembering that blood that was shed is the sinless blood. And the only sacrifice that could be made was Jesus. He's the only pure sacrifice. His blood makes us righteous and holy, covers all of our sins. Oh, oh my goodness. This is so beautiful. And there's power in his blood. Amen. All right. Turn to 1 Corinthians eleven twenty three through 26. Here we read together. It says, For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. He, he prayed over it. He, he gave thanks to the Lord for it. And then he broke it up and passed it amongst the disciples. And he says, take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. Oh, yes, it's broken for me. Thank you, Lord. Amen. He says, do this in remembrance of me. Take it and eat it. Okay. So let us go ahead and give praise here. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your broken body. We thank you for bearing our symptoms and sicknesses at the cross so that we may have your health and wholeness. We declare that by your stripes, by the beatings that you bore, and by the lashes that fell on your back, we are completely healed. We believe and we receive your resurrection life in our bodies today. Amen. There's power in his resurrection. Amen. Let us eat his flesh together. Now, likewise, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Amen. So now we're going to see Jesus on the cross. Hold your drink up. And picture Jesus on the cross. His hands and feet were nailed to that cross. And a crown of thorns were beaten into his head. And the blood that flowed out is that precious blood that has washed us, cleansed us from all unrighteousness, every fault, every failure, every sin. There are not one thing that the Lord Jesus didn't cover when he gave his life up on that cross for you. You have been made righteous. You can come before the throne of God with all your petitions through Christ Jesus, through that blood. You are now covered in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your blood that has washed us whiter than snow. Your blood has brought us forgiveness and it's made us righteous forever. Amen. And as we drink, we celebrate and partake of the inheritance of the righteous, which includes preservation, healing, wholeness, and all your blessings. Amen. Let us drink his blood together. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father God, for Jesus. The blood that covers me has made me righteous. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I can walk boldly out no matter where I'm at, knowing that I'm the most a child of the Most High God. I am royal priesthood. Hallelujah. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, there's no king that's higher than the king that I serve. Amen. That's right. <laughs> and that blood keeps my, my identity and reminds me daily. That's why we do this discerning the body. Remind yourself daily because that blood has cleansed you from all unrighteousness. You can walk in newness of life. You're, re you're restored, recreated in Christ Jesus. And every day he is doing a new work in you. 
Amen. How precious is that? He loves you so much. Don't let the enemy tell you otherwise. You tell him, I've been redeemed by the blood of the lamb. I'm covered in Jesus's blood. I rebuke you, Satan. That's it. That's it. No matter what it is, I just want to remind you, no matter how many times you fall and fail, Jesus knew that and he, his blood covers you and you stay righteous because that blood is covering you. Amen. This is, this is wonderful news. This is the gospel. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, I love you. I thank you for joining. You know, we come here every night between six and nine. Come back again. Let's continue to honor the Lord Jesus. I can't think of anything better to do. There's just something about it. Amen. It's personal relationship we have here. Intimacy. Yes. So remind you this, we do have a study on Sundays at one o'clock somewhere there. I'll post it before I go live. And we are learning about the Jewish history it ties in with the Word of God, the Tribulation, and the Antichrist. So if you want to dig deeper, learn more, which I say there's always room for growth, even if you've already read it, because I have already, and I'm continuing, and I'm going to keep continuing, because we are there in the end times. Jesus is coming. If you're not ready and you don't know the Lord, I urge you to, to receive salvation Message me. Let's pray together. Receive Christ Jesus today. Don't wait another moment. Life is precious. You don't want to be going in the wrong place and you don't want to be left behind. All right. Well, I'm going to pray and, and that'll be it for tonight until we see each other again tomorrow. I will have a prayer warrior here that we're doing gathering so we can pray together. Praying is very powerful. All right. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we just praise you and thank you, Lord, that we can come together giving you thanksgiving for Jesus, for all the wonderful things that you're doing in our lives, how you're changing our hearts and our, our minds, and you're just continuously shining your beautiful light through us that others see you in us, that we gleam and glow with the glory of the Lord. Father, that they would want what we have, that we would be able to speak and preach and tell them all about Jesus and the finished work of the cross and how much you love them. Father, bless each and every person tonight. I pray, Lord, that they cast all their cares upon you, Lord, and that they would turn to you with all of their needs. And Father, that they have open hearts and minds to receive a revelation of, and knowledge of Jesus Christ. Father, Holy Spirit, I pray that you be in these houses tonight, moving in, in such a way that they can't help but know that you're there, Lord, that they want to change their lives and turn away from whatever it is that, that's caught them, that's distracted them. Father God, I just praise you and thank you that you're doing works all over the world. We give you all glory, honor, and praise. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 All right, you guys. Here in a little bit, we'll do the um, the wonderful prayer warrior. So uh, give me a little bit. I'm going to put it all together. If you guys have or know people who need prayer, please message me. Don't hesitate. I love you guys. Good night. <laughs>